Hello everybody, welcome back for interactive problem number 9. If you haven't done this before, as long as you're on the Wolper Bridge website, you can click the play hands button on the right, play this problem, and then come back and watch the video. So the bidding is very straightforward on this hand. Partner opened a diamond up there with their 18 point balance hand and we responded a heart. Our left hand opponent overcalled two clubs and partner jumped to four hearts. Uh, they might have bid three hearts, but 18 plus a dummy point for the doubleton and nice points sitting over the overcaller, all good. Four hearts from partner and now we have what seems like a pretty basic play problem. So uh, on the surface on this hand, we have no club losers. We, we have no trump losers. We're going to have to bang out the ace of spades and lose a spade. And then the diamond suit, as long as they're breaking 3-2, we're going to uh, lose two diamonds. Maybe if we can find somebody with the ace doubleton of diamonds, we can lead up towards, like, let's say we want to play west for ace doubleton of diamonds. Uh, we can lead up towards the king of diamonds. West will have to play low, or, or or they might pop ace, but then we can use our king and queen separately. But if they have ace doubleton and they do play low, we'll win the king, and then we'll see that the king wins the trick, and then we'll know who has the ace. So we'll play a low one the next time, and maybe let West win the ace. So it seems when we get the play problem that we're probably going to make four, might make five uh, if we can get a, a perfect diamond position also might run really badly in diamonds and just have three diamond losers and uh so and it seems like a nothing hand so we go ahead and we just win the ace of clubs uh and we draw a round of trumps but when we go and draw a round of trumps west shows out and becomes a different problem so when there's a bad trump break, we all deal with bad trump breaks. Uh, one of the things we have to worry about is, uh, which this hand is a perfect example of, is that if we draw all the trumps, this is a hand, sorry, just to say, this is a hand where we, we can handle the bad trump break because we have great trumps. We're not going to have any issue with the ace, king, queen, jack are going to be able to pull east four trumps. Uh, that's not the problem with this bad break hand. What, what The problem with this bad break hand is we have a lot of things to knock out. So if we go and we draw too many trumps, let's watch what happens if we draw too many trumps. Uh, we're going to win, play the queen of hearts. And the jack of hearts, and another heart. But now, great, all the trumps are out, but we're in this now in the situation where we only have one trump left in our hand, and we have to knock out the ace of spades. So let's go and knock out the ace of spades. They pop up with the ace of spades, and they play back the king of clubs, making us use our last trump. And now we haven't even started with the diamonds. So we're going to get our spades, and then we're going to go and try and knock out the ace of diamonds, but they've got good clubs. We can't have this happen. So what we have to do on this hand is after seeing the... I'm going to jump back to the trick. We just cashed the ace of hearts, found out the bad news of the bad trump. At this point in time, we have to recognize this issue, that we have to knock out these aces before... And not just the aces, in fact. We're going to have to set up our long diamond. All of that before we finish drawing trumps. So as soon as I saw this bad break when I was playing this hand, the first thing I did was knock out the ace of spades because I want to get these spades cashed. They're going to cash. The one thing about the spade suit that we know is that West, the hand that's over called clubs, doesn't have five of them. So we're going to have no problem cashing our spade trick. So first steps first is just playing a spade to the queen an ace and now they're gonna play back a club and tap us as predicted so now we have the same number of trumps as they do but now we just need to keep going at this hand so we play we can cash our spades or we can play a diamond up towards the king but it becomes somewhat important to cash the spades so we cash our spades out The reason we want to cash our spades is we don't want East throwing away their spades on the diamonds. We're about to lose diamonds, and let me just actually back this up. I'll, let me let me go back and show you what would happen if, if we don't. I'm going to show you East's hand. So we've just I'm going to show you both hands. So we've just no, we've knocked out the ace of spades. They played a club back, and we roughed it. We played a diamond up to the king, and you see that West still got the ace jack of diamonds. So we're definitely going to lose two diamonds. But if we play a diamond. Uh, 
Well, I, I guess it won't cost on this time because what I was thinking might happen is we win the diamond and they win the diamond and they play diamond and then they can throw away a spade. But because they won the ace of spades quickly on the queen, uh, this wouldn't be an issue. But actually, let me back this up and and make it so that they duck the spade. So uh, we played a spade to the queen and let's say they ducked it. And now we play a spade and they win it. So now we're in this spot where um, they play a club back and they tap us. And now we play a diamond up to the king. And now you see what, what, what could go wrong is if we play a diamond before cashing the spade, they win the jack, they cash the ace, throwing away their spade, and get a rough. So let's back up one more time. Uh, so the winning line of play on this hand is to knock out the ace of spades. Let's say they duck, knock out the spade, they win the ace. They play back the king of clubs roughing, and we are roughing. Okay, now we play a diamond up to the king. We cash the king of spades because we don't want them to get a spade rough. And we know the king of spades is cashing again, remember, because... The two-club overcaller doesn't have five spades as well. They would have showed a two-suited hand. So we know East, the hand that has all the trumps, still has spades, so it was safe to cash it. Now we give them a diamond, and so now there's nothing they can do. If they play back a club, we've got trumps in both hands. We can throw a diamond, and, and the hand is over. Or they can take the diamond uh, and throw a club, but either way, now we've got the rest of the tricks because if they come back a club... We can just throw it, and we can trump here, and we have high trumps. So the trick to this hand was just keeping a busy trump, keeping trumps in both hands, making it so that the opponents can't force us to rough enough times that we lose control of the hand. This is one of the key components of dealing with bad breaks. Uh, it's just a very, very important concept that when you have a bad break, it's going to change the tempo of the hand. That you you got to be careful that if you draw too many trumps too quickly then uh, sometimes when you have too many things to knock out outside of the trump suit, you will uh, run into problems where, where you lose control of the hand because the opponents keep forcing you to rough and you don't have any trumps left by the time you've set up before you can set up your tricks. So very important concept. I uh, hope you got the hand right, but at the same time, I hope you learned something. Uh, see you guys next time.